Right class, this is a quick tutorial on how to use a calculator to make sure you get the correct answer. Some of you are struggling in getting the calculators to give you the same answer as we are getting, so I'll show you how to do it. First things first, we're always using degrees in physics, especially when we're starting doing angles and things. We want to change that R, if you have it, to degrees. So to make sure your calculator is in degrees, you press shift, set up, and number 3 for degrees. Okay, it should say D at the top. Now, we've already got this formula set up, we've put the numbers in the correct place. So let's start, I'll open up the fraction here, and then I can start putting the numbers in. So the first number is 9 times 10 to the 9. I don't need the brackets, you can include them if you want by using the bracket buttons, but no need. 9, we'll use the button at the bottom, times 10 here, you can see it, times 10 to the power of 9. Okay, and then the next number is 1 times 10 to the 3, so I'll multiply that by 1 times 10 to the minus 3. I'm using that minus there just to make life easier for myself. And then I'll multiply that by five times 10 to the minus six. So that's the top part done, press the down arrow here at the bottom now, and we have 52. So I'll write that here, 52 times 10 to the minus three, and that's squared. So I'm gonna square it. So that X button there is a square. Equals, and you will get 16642, and that's your answer.